Hello everyone, Tucker here at Mass Effect Follower, and while playing Mass Effect Andromeda, although I enjoyed it, I had issues with the way that choice was presented in the game. It either felt like it didn't do much, or was a very obvious choice and didn't leave me sitting there pondering what is the right way to go. Now, I'm not talking about the dialogue choices, like choosing whether to respond to a piece of dialogue in a casual way or something similar. I am meaning the big choices that happen in the game. Now let's discuss that a bit further. Before we really get into this, I want to note that this is my own personal opinion. So, Mass Effect is known for choice. It is what separates Mass Effect from many of its competitors. The replayability of Mass Effect games just to see how the story would change due to different choices is endless, and something that many fans enjoy doing. When it comes to Mass Effect Andromeda, it felt like the major choices were lacking in impact, or they were very obvious choices to begin with. Starting off with the choice about your very first outpost. It was pretty cool having to decide if you want to place a military one or a research one. Sadly, that was where it ended. Once you made a choice, nothing else really happened. You had no other choice about what happens at your outpost, and the two outposts that you choose from aren't that different from one another. The only thing affected is that at the end of the game, you get some extra support if you pick military. And as far as I can tell, you don't get any benefit from doing a research outpost. The issue with this choice doesn't end there though. This is the only time that you choose what outpost you want. Many fans, myself included, were expecting that you chose all the outposts across the planets that you land on. Now that would have been an awesome factor in the game. Having dialogue choices change between you and the Angara because you only chose military would have been really cool. Or having more research options because three of your four bases or research really would have made this choice mean a lot more to the player. The next one I want to go over is the fact that none of your squad mates get truly affected by choice. You can go against everything that this one person wants, and they will still remain on your team. A factor with the Mass Effect games, but more prominent in the later ones, were that choices you made could cause the death of a squad mate. In Andromeda, the threat of losing a squad mate by either having them die due to a choice or leaving because they don't like how you're doing things is absent. That factor in the previous games made everything tense, especially in the suicide mission in Mass Effect 2. This also extends to the loyalty missions. Although they were amazing, and some of them were the best moments in Mass Effect Andromeda, they didn't feel like they had an impact. Now, they did impact the end. I'm not going to say that they didn't, but the impact that it had felt very little and didn't have the oomph that a lot of these missions had in previous games. The last example I want to go over are the priority ops choices. These are the main mission choices, and you would think that with these being the main missions, that they would have the biggest impact, and again, they felt lacking. The choice of destroying the Ket Exaltation base. If you destroy the facility, nothing much else happens, and if you save it, the only thing that happens is a few Ingara help you during some of the fight at the end. For something that is as big as this choice, many expected a big outcome, and right after this decision, there is some dialogue difference with Jal and the Moshai, with either one of them being angry about the choice that you made. But after a mission or so, it seems like whichever one was angry at you just kind of shrugs it off, and no other difference happens in the game. Another main mission example is Sloane Kelly's deal with Venterev. Whichever choice you make, the only difference are a few dialogue options right after that. Sloan doesn't treat you much differently later on, and the same goes for Reyes. It would have been great if this first interaction between these two characters changed all the missions involving them later on, and not just right after the mission and never again. Now, sure, there are choices that do have a decent impact on the game. For example, the choice of saving Sloane Kelly from the sniper, and the choice between the Krogan scouts and the Salarian people and their Pathfinder. And also, we don't know really how much these choices are going to affect future titles and DLC. When it was only Mass Effect 1, we weren't sure of what was truly going to affect the game until the sequels came out, but overall, the choices in the game felt lackluster in comparison to the choices in the Mass Effect trilogy and some feel like these choices are affecting replayability with their lack of repercussion. But what about you? What do you think about the choices in Mass Effect Andromeda? Which were your favorite to choose and why? Let us know in the comments down below, and while you are there, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.